The Bronco Hockey Power Play is presented by Delta Hotels by Marriott Kalamazoo Conference Center. Maximize your time with their enticing amenities, convenient location, and thoughtful accommodations. Call 269-375-6000 to reserve your room today. Welcome into the Power Play. Kenny Scherlinger here with NCHC Goaltender of the Week, Cam Rell. Cam, before we get into your play uh, this year with the Broncos, I want to ask you your first memory as a hockey player. Ooh, my first memory as a hockey player? Oh man, I think just it would just have to be going to like learn to skate uh, with my parents at our local rink, Centennial Ice Rink in Wilmette, Illinois. Um, you know, just learning how to skate and having fun just ripping around. I think that's the first memory I have. When did you make the transition from a player to a goalie? Uh, I was about eight years old. They, in For youth spring hockey, it's only a you know, six week season or something like that. And I had dabbled a, a little bit in playing goalie in the fall season. and. Uh, you know, my parents thought if you want to try it, this would be the time to do it because it's only a month and a half, and ever since then it's kind of stuck. So, who's your favorite NHL player? Uh, I think right now, man, uh, you know, I, I really like John Gibson. I really like the way that he plays. I think that he's a really underrated goalie on a uh, on a team that's pretty up and down, but he's a big reason why that they win. And um, you know, and, and all time, I think Dominic Kosciuk was a big big influence for me. I always loved watching him do ridiculous stuff in net, so. What's a common misconception about goalies? Um, a big thing is that people think we're pretty weird. Um, I like to think I'm not, but that's up for discussion. Depends on who you ask, I guess. But, um, you know, everyone thinks that we're super uh, superstitious, and I think that kind of just varies from guy to guy. So obviously you had a really good weekend in net, so. Take us through this this save of the weekends on Saturday night against Omaha. So yeah, the puck just kind of starts in the corner um, and goes up to their guy at the point. And at this point, he reaches the top of the circles. I know he's coming down. I see the puck. He's a shooting threat. But I also know on the back door that they have a guy uh, open up for a one-timer. So now I'm just looking to see the angle of his blade, what he's thinking about doing. Um, Right before he passes it, I know that he's gonna go past because his blade's more closed towards the middle of the ice. It's facing the guy in the back door. So luckily for me, that gives me a little bit more of a jump. And then after that, it's just try to locate where the one-timer thread is and see where he's at, see where the pass is in relation to his body and his blade. And then once it, he goes through that shooting motion, it's just try to get there and push as hard as I can. and. You know, once it release, releases right off his blade, I get a little bit of an idea of where it's going on the trajectory. But, you know, when, when guys shoot it that hard, you just you also just try to get something <laughs> in front of it. So yeah. um, I knew it was going high, and I just tried to get over with my blocker square, and it hit, I guess, right off the right off the front inside cuff of it. And uh, you know, after that, I think uh, Fiedler came in, did a great job of clearing that guy out in front and knocking that puck right back to me. And it was a pretty easy rebound cover from there. So. Um, it was a good save, but I also got to give credit to 17 for coming back and covering the empty net for me. How, how good does that feel when you, when you get a save like that? I mean, it's big time, right? I think you know, those, are, those can be game-changing saves, um, especially in a one-goal game. It was at that point. Um, but at the same time, like, that's, that's just my job. That's what I'm there to do. These guys do unbelievable plays in front of me to avoid situations like this. They do incredible, you know, they show incredible skill to put the puck in the back of the net on the other end and um, so anytime I can help out these guys with a big save it's I'm glad I can do it for them. So you're on a bye week this week uh, I want to ask you what's your favorite thing about a bye week? I think you get a little bit of a mental reset um, I think you can you have time to focus on different parts of your game you can work on different parts of your game uh, for us practices that look a little bit different um, it's a little bit of a refresh, you know, every week in the season you do the same thing on a certain day and uh, off weekends give you a little bit more time to recover physically, mentally and have a little bit more fun with just something that's a bit new. You have three more series coming up, two on the road, St. Cloud, uh, Nodak and then Miami at home. What's the mindset of you and the rest of the team going down this final stretch? Just take it one weekend at a time. Um, you know, we've been talking about how, how quick the second half has gone by. It's crazy that we only have three series left, but you know, six games, a lot can happen in those six games. And uh, the good thing for us is that right now we're in a pretty pretty good spot and those six games can really can really turn around our stretch here at the end of the season, so. Cam, thanks for the, the time and awesome. taking the time away from your bye week. That's Cam Rowe, Kenny Schrellinger. 
Broncos on a bye week this week before heading on the road for a couple road series in the NCHC. We'll talk to you soon.